Right, so we are getting pretty stacked in here. I don't know if you can tell. But basically, Brian, as well as our other buddy Ken, both have never camped out of their airplanes. So they wanted to go do a trial run. I've obviously camped a bunch out of my plane, but I've never done it with a passenger. So Bryce last night was hanging with me and I was like, you wanna go? So we're gonna see if we can fit two full-size dudes in the Kit Fox, go for a night of camping. I'm Trent Palmer, I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. You know how to get in? I think so. Swing yourself in there. We're five minutes out, can you hold your pee? I can hold it. If not, I can land right here. As long as I do the PP dance, we're good. <laughs> good. How am I looking there, uh, Brian? Yeah, it looks like you're heading right towards it, Ken. We got a crop duster under our right wing spraying uh, one of those rice patties. Uh, I got the spot. There's already a couple of yellow airplanes over there. Or how far out are you guys? I'm just about over it. I'm off your left wing, probably a mile. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of orbit here at a thousand feet and let you guys get in there. Do you guys normally land from the south or the north, or is everything play? Yeah, generally, I, I like I like to land from the south. And did I hear someone on the ground with the radio? Yeah, I am on the ground with the radio, but I didn't speak. What uh, what's the wind like down there? Wind's calm. I think that's too much, guys. I'm gonna head back. <laughs> Are you guys setting up for a left pattern? Yeah, I like to overfly it, so if you overfly it, you can make left traffic and it, uh, it kind of just flows together. That was the one right there. Oh, oh. dialed. Winner. Nice. We got firewood. <laughs> Dude, it's nowhere near fire time. <laughs> All right, now we are all unloaded here at the gravel bar. It sounds like a few of the guys are linking up in Red Bluff to have lunch. So we're gonna jump in the plane, take a little 25, 30 minute jaunt to Red Bluff for lunch. Let's do it, I'm starving. I forgot to record our blast off. Oh man, dude. Very cool. How's it going? Yeah, just finished lunch here at Red Bluff. It was very good. It was really good. And now we're trying to decide what we want to do. Everyone's indecisive. Jake, who's normally the ringleader, uh, isn't going to fly with us today, so we don't really have a ringleader. Let's go land on some stuff. Let's go play oh. somewhere. Red Bluff traffic. Freedom Fox flight of, I don't know, five. Uh, taking runway three, three, or one, five. And uh, we'll be departing southbound. Red Bluff. Okay, what's the order? I know I'm out in front, being Trent. Uh, who's behind me? Ken's on your six. I'm number four. Hey, Brian, if you got me, I'm at your four o'clock low. Traffic. I haven't seen this one. It looks like it's all good, but it also looks like there might be whoops on it. Whoops out. Yeah, it was fine. I mean, we could have landed on it. You yeah. landing that bar, Trent? No, I'm gonna move on. There was some whoops. I should have been lined up for an uh, earlier section of the bar.
You got a problem with flip flops? I don't have a problem with flip flops. I do have a problem. I don't have my flip flops with me. I feel like that's like, yeah. What size you wear? 14, you want to? Yeah. Them? I come down here, we end up with this huge group and we're back in it again. We even separated into two groups and the front group, it's like I'm trying to race ahead to land somewhere so I can get out of the way and hopefully get back out before they all land. Otherwise it just turns into a cluster and we all park and then it's like, you know, the little Congo line getting back out. It's nerve wracking for sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, you know, when you're coming in tight behind somebody and then you just can't, you know, I had to peel off a couple times. Yeah. So we are just settling down next to the fire. And part of the reason I brought Bryce that I didn't even disclose is that he offered to bring some of his own steaks. So I tell me my, about these. I brought my meat, that's yeah. what I brought. Yeah, what uh, We got 2020 Archery Bull Elk from Nevada, 2019 Idaho Mule Deer, 2020 Nevada Deer. We are eating good tonight. And the plan is we're gonna uh, do this over an open fire. Add, what do you got? We have 2020 duck salami. Yeah. Duck salami? We have 2021 ribs from the supermarket. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and this is the same knife I used to clean my horse's hooves with. Uh, perfect. <laughs> I will say though, I know we're at sea level, but we took off up well above sea level. But the little Kip Fox did good. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're two full-size dudes. I mean, I'm six foot, 190. Six four, yoked, 220. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of dude in a kit box. And we had all our camping gear. Like, that's legit. I gotta say, I mean, I think it's pretty common that people kind of hate on the kit fox saying it's not like a usable bush plane or they say it's, you know, you can't carry anything in it. I'm like, I used to think it was the Alaska guys that were making fun of us, but now I realize it's not even the Alaska guys. It's the keyboard pilots that like to jump on that read spec sheets of other aircraft and say what one's great. but. Come out in the real world and see, like, all of our planes are great. Yeah. The, I mean, of course, you can only carry two flasks in your plane. I, I can carry a full bottle. No, I could carry just... You take the 220-pound passenger. <laughs> <laughs> all the ruffles we brought. We can give you that up. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? A little piece. Pretty, oh man. Pretty good, huh? It's I like, thought it'd be super gamey. I did too. Good stuff. Dude. <laughs> 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 That's yours. Just like that, good morning. It's uh, coffee time. <laughs> Loaded, got everything packed back up. Sounds like we're gonna pop over to a little airport called Willows, get some gas and some breakfast, and then try to get over the hill before the wind comes in. We've got high forecasted winds over the Sierras this afternoon, so let's get going. Thank you. Anytime. Let's, that was a blast. Yeah, let's restock and do it again. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, now before I take off, there's something that's just been bothering me that I needed to talk to you guys about. And it's just, I don't understand how anyone is building a website using anything but Squarespace. Seriously, this is the stuff that like keeps me up at night. Why would anyone just go and do something the hard way, like design a website from scratch when you could use one of Squarespace's award-winning templates that are beautiful. It's like this amazing foundation to craft your own website out of that takes like five minutes. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I always have things that I'd rather be doing than spending a bunch of time building a website. So if I'm gonna sit down and do it, I like when it's easy and fast. And Squarespace just kind of hits it out of the park with that. Not to mention 24 seven customer support should you get in a bind, which I don't think will happen and features for every industry. So I don't care what it is you do or what you're into, you can do it with Squarespace. So online stores, blogs, photo galleries, everything is totally possible with Squarespace. Automatic mobile and desktop versions of your website and it's free to try. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to purchase, go to squarespace.com slash Trent Palmer for 10% off. Now thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this one and thanks you guys for tuning in and watching all the way through. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do, subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.